So after the total curveball announcement of Pokemon Legends ZA, I began to wonder about like why did it say 2025 release when everyone kind of thought it was going to be released in 2024 and I have a few things to talk about regarding that and just kind of news around Pokemon Legends ZA. Also guys if you don't mind dropping a like and subscribing to the channel it helps so much and I appreciate every single one of you that does support the channel. So we finally got the announcement of the next Pokemon game which is huge but the thing that caught me off guard other than obviously Legend ZA because I was not expecting to go back to the Kalos region as I'm pretty sure everyone was expecting either some Johto stuff. They were really teasing Johto throughout the entire Pokemon Presents and they were also like just teasing Unova on like their Instagram for over the last like weeks. So I this was a total curveball that I don't think they've really teased anything of, you know, Generation 6. But anyways, it says coming 2025, which is crazy because a lot of reputable leakers and just people online were claiming that the game would be announced or announced this Pokemon Presents, which was correct. There was a new game um, announced, but also released at this at the end of this year. So that means 2024, apparently as of right now, has no releases for Pokemon games or DLC, which is kind of a good thing, which I will get into, which is the main topic of this video. But apparently this is the first year since 2015 without a new game or a DLC. Because last year they didn't release a game either, but they did give us the DLC for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'm a little bit surprised we didn't get a new update for Scarlet and Violet though within this Pokemon Presents. They may be saving another update for the future, we'll see. So I think one of the reasons why they are giving it a 2025 release is because they want to take their time with it. and They want to slow down production of their games to make a better game overall. Because a few months ago... They announced that they kind of want to slow down production. They want to just slow down because they were just pumping out game after game for years. And it was it was getting a lot. And it obviously took a hit and put a strain on their releases because the newest Pokemon games haven't all been that great. They've been fun, of course. Like Scarlet and Violet were super fun, but without a doubt, there were a ton of glitches. Legends Arceus was a really fun game. I love Legends Arceus. I think that was probably my favorite Pokemon game on the Switch, but it still felt a little bland or dry sometimes, which is okay. I still had a blast with that game, but it's no it's no doubt, no secret that some of the Pokemon Switch games, probably most of them actually, just haven't been as magical feeling as every other generation before. Like I feel like the magic hasn't really been there since Generation 6. I'm not just saying that just because they announced a Generation 6 game. I've always thought that. I've always thought that after X and Y, the Pokemon games just kind of had have had a different feeling to them. And in my opinion, Legends Arceus is the game that has felt the most like a Pokemon game, in my opinion, within the last 10-ish years. And I'm not saying this to like hate on the franchise or anything, because obviously I love the games, or else I wouldn't have a channel pretty much based around Pokemon for the most part. I still love the Pokemon series in the franchise. I'm just saying that the games just haven't felt as magical. I guess I know magical may sound a little weird to say, but over the last few years compared to how they used to feel. So I think that they're taking this time and I hope that they're taking all of 2024, the rest of 2024 to fully work and build on this game. I, I really hope that they're just going through all the little bits and pieces, every single detail to make this a thoroughly built Pokemon game. That means like, you know, no lag, nice graphics, a good storyline that's that's catching, hopefully not too childish, because because some of Scarlet and Violet felt a little bit kiddish, like too childish, which I get that the franchise is kind of meant for kids, but it almost felt a little too much sometimes. But so I just really hope that they fully, fully, fully build this game. And I think that's why they decided to not release it, because the odds are they're, they're already working on it, and they've probably already been working on this game for a few months now. It takes a long time to build a game, so they've probably been working on this for a while. And the the great thing about the Pokemon franchise is that it's not going to die. It's not going to die with having one year of no release, because it's literally the biggest franchise on the planet, and it's not going to die just because they don't have a release, and it's just going to do nothing but build up more hype for the game when it releases. So Legend ZA is going to be way bigger when it releases because there won't be like a recently released game before that unless they they throw another curveball and actually give us an announcement for a game that an, comes out in 2024 because this is another video topic i actually want to talk about i don't really want to spoil it but i still have a small theory that they're going to announce another game that they will release this year 
it's just a theory it's crazy it's not really that crazy but i think i'm saving that for a different video in the near near future so stay tuned for that but like i said the franchise is not gonna die and it, it's just gonna build up so much hype for the next game which is probably what they want because they're taking their time to build this legends za game and i'm so glad that they actually did drop a new legends game because legends arceus was extremely popular it wasn't the best selling pokemon game on the switch but it definitely had some amazing sales and it had really good reviews and feedback the fans loved pokemon legends arceus the idea of it's really cool because it's awesome that you can have a spin-off type of game based on an older generation that we can go back to but doesn't doesn't you know re erase or remove any of the the greatness from the original games like it's not a remake this is not a remake this is a new game like a spin-off of kalos or generation 6 still a mainline game of course it's still like a, in the mainline you know continuity or whatever but i just think the legends series is super cool and i hope that they continue to to release more legends games in the future a small part of me thought they would never actually release another legends game just because that's just kind of how they the, the company is sometimes they release a cool spin-off and they just don't you know do anything else with that name i guess but i think based on the legend series legend rcs they had good feedback and i feel like they're also listening to the, the fans because who would have ever thought that they would release legend zygarde or legend za I made a video about Legend Zygarde months and months ago, which is really funny to see people come back to that video and comment on it right after the Pokemon Presents ended because people were like, no way, this guy predicted it. I mean, I didn't necessarily predict it because there were a lot of people on the internet that actually, you know, were talking about it and everything before it ever came around because people were talking about Legends Celebi, Legends Kiram, Legends Rayquaza, Legends everything, basically. Any legendary Pokemon or cool Pokemon you could think of, you know, people have thought of a Legends story for it. But I think it's super, super cool that we're getting this Legends ZA. Hopefully, we get to see AZ and Floette and everything in this. I think that'd be super cool. And I can't wait to do... And I can't wait to see the next trailer for it. You best know I'm going to try to do a breakdown for that next trailer. I really wanted to do a breakdown for this trailer, but but I just... I was unable to. And then by the time I was able to, it's like everyone already did it. So whatever. It's not a big deal. But it'll be interesting to see what they do this year and what the next pokemon presents will actually announce because um i'm pretty sure they do two a year i think it's like every six months or so they do a pokemon presents so there will probably be one in august i believe so they're gonna announce some stuff there and the other stuff was actually kind of cool in the pokemon presents too like the i think my other favorite announcement would be the pokemon go update which was pretty cool and then the uh the tcg like app where you can open digital packs that actually seems really cool uh, hopefully I can I'll get into that and I hope that doesn't die because a, a lot of the the apps the mobile apps kind of just fade away after a couple years but yeah basically overall I think that they're building up this game and the reason why it's releasing so much later is because they're really putting in effort and also another small topic that I thought about was like is this coming on the switch one or the switch two or the next console because maybe the reason why it's in 2025 was because they actually initially wanted to release it in 2024 but then the next console rumored is delayed. The rumor is that that console was delayed until 2025. So maybe they're just like, okay, we're just going to release this new game on the next console next year. So we'll see. Hopefully it's the Switch. Well, I guess, I don't know. I, I'd be fine if it's the Switch 1 or 2, to be honest. I don't really care about what console this game comes out on. I just am hyped for the game. Let me know what you guys think about Pokemon Legends ZA. Are you guys hyped? Were you were you expecting that? Because I don't think I don't think anyone was actually expecting Legend ZA. I know some people out there were like, "We're getting a Kalos uh, remake." I'm like, "They're not going to do a remake of Generation Six because we haven't had Gen Five remakes yet." But yeah, I want to know your thoughts. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.